to the channel, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we have two words today, guys. Welcome back, I'm so glad you're here, by the way. I know, we're making some art. Okay, we're having two words. The two words are this, moving and mirror. Moving mirror today, guys. Moving mirror. I remember no preconceived ideas. We're just gonna grab something to draw, something to color with, and we're gonna make this moving mirror. Wait, 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 wait for it. Ready, 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 ready. Ah, I'm so fast. Let's make some art. This episode is brought to you by ArtasticKids.com. If you're a parent, guardian, homeschool family, or a classroom teacher looking for art lessons and resources, begin your journey by finding free art lessons, tips, advice, and more at ArtasticKids.com. Okay, we are doing a moving mirror. Yes, a moving mirror. All right, let's do a mirror. Okay, let's start off with drawing a rectangle, and we're gonna do it on this left side of the page, but it's going to be a, a rectangle on an angle. So we're going to start off with a diagonal line. Yep, right across. And then we're going to bring two lines down. One. And then this back line is going to come down shorter. So it looks like, oops, sorry. Ha! <laughs> so it looks like it's on an angle. Okay. And then we're going to bring this down. So that way this side's going to appear closer to the viewer than this side. It's going to look like it's on an angle. Which means now we gotta draw a frame on an angle too. Okay, let's draw the top part. We're gonna make it fancy. Draw whatever sort of fancy top you want. And then we can draw one side of the frame. And now connect to the bottom. And anytime you need me to pause, just hit that pause button and hit play when you're ready to continue. You can add some decorations in it if you would like. You can have any sort of decorations that you want. It's your mirror. Make it the way that you would like it. All right, we're gonna add some sideways letter V's in the face for some silly eyes. And then we're going to draw a second line to thicken it up. And then color in the eyes, leaving just a little white along the top of each. Okay, in between the eyes, we're gonna draw a short little line. And then we're going to connect it with a letter U. And then in the inside of the mouth, we're gonna draw the letter M and then color in the dark of the mouth, leaving that nice and white. All right, add some sideways rectangles for the glare of light. These are gonna stay nice and white. I'll make it look shiny. All right, so now it's moving quickly. So we're gonna draw some big lines, make some thin, some thick versions, and that way it's gonna make it look like it's moving. We're gonna use line to create movement here. I'm doing them in sets of twos. Whoosh. All right, now it's a moving mirror. See, we got line to create movement. And once you're done doing that, you can go ahead and color in your moving mirror with your choice of mirror colors.
And once you're done coloring in your mirror, your lovely moving mirror is 